Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 157. Today we have a nice hockey mixer with some 2019 and 2020, 2021 products. Uh, well, 2019, 20, and 2020, 2021 products. Uh, we got series one, series two, and extended from 2021 uh, with some artifacts, trilogy, SPX, SP game use, uh, kind of finishing off that whole 2020, 2021 set. And for 2019, 20, we have platinum, chronology, ice and then premiere which is again one of my favorite products just visually design wise content wise i just i love it it's probably it's one of my favorite like high-end mid-high-end products out there in the sports card market so it's always a fun to open up so anyways right in the team random so we'll do three times on the names three times on the teams best of luck to everyone Oop, that's cap blocks not the shift there we go uh best of luck to everyone yeah, not too much longer till we'll have 32 teams in hockey breaks, which I'm looking forward to. Here we go, three times. Once, twice, and third time. And team three times. Once, twice. And third time, Columbus on top, San Jose on the bottom. Good luck, everyone. Again, pretty solid mix for a bunch of teams here, so good luck. Uh, Andrew, you've got Columbus, Harp with Edmonton, Christopher with the Penguins, Michael, you've got the Wild, Ted with the Ducks, uh, Dragon Deep with the Bruins, Kevin with the Flames, Mike with the Jets, TB Lamar, you got the Panthers, Jean-Francois, you've got the Kings and the Canucks. You got the Alex Edler teams there. That's weird to say. Mark, you got the Avalanche. Here's hoping we get you a Makar. Uh, Mike, you've got the Flyers. David with the Stars. Kevin with the Sabres. Daniel with the Capitals. Uh, Shagandeep, you've got Chicago. Uh, Loic with the Ottawa Senators. Uh, TV Lamar with the St. Louis Blues. Ken with the Predators. Emil with the Habs. That's a pretty solid team. Harp with the Yotes. Ted with the Red Wings, Robert with the Hurricanes, Kevin with the Lightning, Ryan with the Islanders, Bill, you've got the Rangers. So that's honestly probably one of the top teams in this break. Uh, Sebastian with the Leafs, Justin, you got the Devils, Blake with Vegas, and Martin, you've got the Sharks. So there are your teams. I'll get them in the team viewer. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day. Um, Oh, I know a couple people asked about Hockey Card Day in Canada packs. This is just backtracking to 154. Um, I, if you were in 154, you got one per spot, I believe is what it was. I, I think I double, I double checked it, but it should be one per spot. Um, so, uh, forgot to mention that yesterday. All right, where am I going? Photoshop. But today, today's a new day, so. All right, Photoshop, let's not take five years here. Boston's up for trade again. We'll give a couple minutes for trades here. There we go. Uh, if you do make a trade, uh, I will just need email confirmation. Uh, again, kind of one of the bucket list things is to get it so you don't have to. I think maybe what we'll start doing is like um, putting your username in the notes or something like that. And once I have that, then like should be good to go. And honestly, like using Twitch username for breaks makes sense too. So um, Twitch, YouTube, whatever we end up streaming on. I, I know I've been watching a little bit more YouTube streams lately, so yeah hopefully everyone's having a good day and again uh i believe last check there were three spots in uh what you might call it uh the other break so and uh, other preambles for this break is that uh chronology the franchise history xrc's they aren't publicly announced yet um so they will be random between all 31 teams artifacts we know the rookies on the rookie redemption checklist so those will go to their actual rosters or their actual teams um in the case that they don't have a logo on the card so all right uh seeing nothing on the trade front here give it a couple more minutes but should be good 
should be good. And I'm just going to double check 156 to make sure got these spots correct. Uh, I think we're down to one in it as well. So, uh, so like that break, that break's going to go tonight um, without a doubt. Artifacts, get the rookie redemption checklist up. And once this is done, uh, once I get all the uh, checklists up, then we will be good to go. Did I already pass them? Yeah, good. That was, that was smart of me. Alright. Uh, extended series checklist because there are some weird parallels. There's so far only five of the all-star base variations. All right, here we go. So order for today, I had it set up one second ago. Uh, SPX goes on top here. Chronology, yeah. Uh, in terms of biggest hit potential, actually, chronology there, something like that. And then this on top of there. And then I'd say something like that. That goes there, that goes there. This goes here. How's that look? Uh, so SPX kind of second last, Premier last. Obviously Premier is last. Like Premier is last in this no matter what. Yeah, you can't convince me on changing that one. But I uh, don't really see anything trade-wise. But yeah, order we're going to pretty much go down here, down here down here uh i could switch out chronology for ice or sp game used or even honestly even trilogy but trilogy's been really the trilogy shocked me this year with kind of its overall quality so far and we've done enough of a sample size that it's been you know we've had some not great boxes but for the most part they've been like solid and we've had some pretty big stuff too so probably a little bit of bias there with our polls but here we go. Extended series time. Let's have some fun. Uh, for those playing at home, box 14. And let me know if there's any weird camera flickering. Um, I'm seeing some of it on my monitor. It's probably my monitor's going. Uh, it's been going for a little bit, so just haven't really wanted to replace it because i quite like it but could be a mix of that or my computer too it is hotter in the room as well so here we go let's get something good to start off uh mackie for the flames on the young guns base on the rest hopefully everyone's having a good day though got some disc golf in this morning finished even par today i think um i mean if you count my out of bounds and stuff i'd definitely be a little bit higher than that uh, McMichael for the Capitals on the rookie class. I think if you can't, because that will be like slightly a couple of times. Had a couple of second shots, but still learning. So even-ish par, um, what I like to call it. But getting there. Starting to get some more like S flights on my disc, which is really nice. Uh, ovation of Kurashev for Chicago. Again, free agency yesterday it was nuts. Dougie getting seven times nine in uh, New Jersey is pretty crazy. Uh, for the Rangers, Panarin on the reflections to 300. The purple reflections. Again, nice subset. I like this subset from... Uh, actually, it's a numbered card. We'll... Uh, Do that for that one. It is one of my favorite subsets from uh, Extended. They do look nice. I like it better than Ovation or the Holographics. Uh, Cam Johnson for the Blue Jackets on the Young Guns. Yeah, Extended kind of has surprised... I, like, 
on a per box, like just in a mixer, it's kind of been fine for us. Case wise, the cases we've had have been pretty weird. So, uh, gold of Nick Robertson for the Leafs. God, it'd be extended would be a fun product to go through the checklist and see how many players are still with their picture teams and oh if we do hit an all-star game very like an, a french variation or an all-star variation essentially um it'll go to the team that they were on in the all-star game so um so for example like say this hurdle was a variation it would go to the sharks because it's a specific all-star game logo uh good young gun Kalia for the kings yeah that's kind of the one you want to hit so i would take rathbone over him but Not a bad one to get. Lots of hype around him, so. Got a left wing. Brady Kachuk for the Senators to 2999. Uh, we'll put that there. Actually, it just goes there. Again, like the SPX Finite cards, just, I almost wish they didn't. I don't know. It's one of those subsets that's like. I can see why it's numbered, but I almost wish they didn't number them and then just had like shorter prints, kind of, and yeah. All right, Got sticky base cousins on the Dazzlers for the uh, Sabres. Yeah, lots of rumors that uh, Tarasenko is gonna be really hard to move, which is, again, not super shocking for someone who's had three surgeries and their plays kind of dwindled. Uh, Ingram for the Predators on the rookie class. But given his name reputation, his draft reputation, I mean, he's only got two years left. Yes, his cap hits high. Given what, you know, we've seen some older defensemen go for, like, there's got to be a taker out there somewhere for him. All right. I think Sherry's on a different team. Hope he's definitely Vasilevsky. He's not Petrangelo for Vegas. Uh... <laughs> I think this pack, every single card is either, except for like one or two, or either a different team or probably not playing next year in the base set, which is just wild to think about. Ooh, here's our retro. That looks like it's going to be Kaliev, isn't it? Yep, Kaliev on the retro for the Kings. It's the second time that's happened that we pulled Kaliev with Kaliev. Didn't love these. I... I know why they did like the uh, the like King's traditional color scheme, but if they would have done the purple there just to match the jersey, oh, just would have made that such a nice, like just that little bit nicer of a card. You know? A little bit more flair to it. Uh, Hofer? Yeah, Hofer for the blues. And probably of all the goalies in the set, the one you want to hold on to. The one with the most actual potential, and yeah. Oh, uh, another uh, Young Guns uh, 0506 with uh, Keandre Miller. Nice one there. I mean, we'll take two in one box. Considering there's supposed to be one per. There, uh, odds are you're going to be getting a better name on those than in the actual Young Gun checklist, so. We take those, those are wins. Uh, current for the Ducks, case in point. Robert, got ya. It's going. You got the Kings, I believe, yeah. Uh, Quinn Hughes on the, nope, Pedersen on the 0506. Hopefully he can bounce back this year. It's going. Uh, a little bit on the, uh, a little bit on the toasty side. It's gonna be kind of toasty breaks tonight, but uh, looks like just a base pack here. Yep. yep. No French variation. And base packs happen in extended. Uh, the, the Canes. 
Uh, the Carolina. The team that everyone loved and now no one really cares for anymore. Harley for the Stars. Uh, Crosby for the Penguins on the ultimate victory. So I think you're looking mainly for like Geeky at this point. Honestly, Geeky isn't probably the worst player to pull either. Uh, and then last year you've got no one really major there. Uh, Reflections of Matthews for the Leafs. Got, I think you've got like Lutzerainen and uh, I forget the other one, but Kevin Ball for the Devils on the Young Guns again. This is this is the box that you want to hit. Typically, we'd have uh, Rathbone's the main one that we're missing from the crop here. So typically, you'd get Rathbone with this as well. And if we can, like by far the best like Young Gun crop that you can get. But uh, Kane for Chicago. Well, there's Rathbone. So, good box. We hit the best Young Gun crop. We got a bonus 0506 tribute. Not bad. Not bad at all. You take your victories where you can, right? So, let's see what's in this last pack, too. Who knows? Maybe there's a little goodie hiding in this last pack. Uh, French variation of Jumbo Joe. So, there we go. Extended is done. On to series one. So yeah, good box of extended, I would say. Good young gun crop. Bonus, uh, bonus of five oh six tribute. I mean, if you're if you're opening up a box and you get that box in particular, you're coming up at least way above average to a. Uh, To other boxes like that like long term wise that's probably going to end up being the young gun crop that you want from that box there's probably going to be I'd say probably two of those players maybe even three stick around for NHL careers which is good um, and like decent ones at that probably Rathbone and Kaliev are your best bets Ball is always I mean he's a big tall defenseman so uh, predominant of uh, Doughty for the Kings. Uh, French variation of Anders Lee for the Islanders. It's been whisper quiet out of Islander land. I think Lou is upset that his uh, expansion draft pick got leaked early compared to Iserman, and he's trying to uh, flex his muscles there. Well, there's a checklist of laughing Kratz off for the Rangers. Uh, Tyler Benson for the Oilers on the rookie portraits. Barkov for the Panthers on the worldwide. Braden Point for the Lightning. Big money player there.
That's a really massive extension. Uh, Kershaw for Chicago. Solid one. Solid. Wierenski for the Blue Jackets. One of the few Blue Jackets. Uh, Blake. Where are you? You got Vegas. You got Vegas. So you're looking for Krebs. And Cody Glass, I guess. Capo Caco for the Rangers on the uh, rookie retrospective. So Cody Glass is 1920. So, But that's where most like our high-end stuff is too. So, eh. You know. Uh, Sebastian Aho for the Carolina Hurricanes. Aho! Will there be an offer sheet this year? Because he had one last year. Vitaly Kratsov for the Rangers on the Young Guns. Pretty standard box so far. Vander came for the Sharks. Uh, Vorchek for the Flyers. Jersey card coming up. I think at least. Looks like a Jersey card. Yep, Braid and Shen for the Blues. Honestly, I'm shocked Seattle didn't. Uh, Burdine for the Jets on the Young Gun canvas. I'm really shocked that uh, Seattle didn't. But yes, you offer sheet him at 10.275 over five years. Ingram for the Predators on the Young Guns. Because, like, the Canucks will match it. I mean, you can offer more. But the Canucks will match a 10.275. It doesn't... But it really, like... It puts them in a bind. And then, you know... They might not be able to afford Besser next year. Uh, Hellbuck for the Jets on the Portraits. Paul Mary for the Devils. Uh, I think it's, I think it's, it's four for Hughes. So I believe it's, it's either four or five for Pedersen. But yeah, you do the one that walks them to straight into free agency because that is the most predatory one that you can do. Um, Wolf for the Leafs. I think Hughes is four. So then PD would, in that sense, be four. But I would be shocked if Hughes actually isn't, like, walking him to free agency. I I can't see Hughes sticking around in Vancouver. Uh, Goudreau for the Flames. Not when both of his brothers are, are on the Devils. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's, like, it's a foregone conclusion that he's probably going to end up there. Unless something like miracle happens, but Marino for the Penguins. But yeah, like the Canucks are probably in a position where I know, like I love Besser as a player. But, oh yeah, no, like if Hughes was eligible to be offer sheet, I think he would have seen a team. I think he would have seen the Devils actually uh, be very aggressive there. Matthews for the Leafs on the portraits, because like. You offer sheet Hughes at Heiskanen's contract, and I, I don't know if you, I think you'd match if you're Vancouver, but Coughlin for Vegas, but like, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it depends though. Like, you saw how... You... It kind of depends on the family situation and... Um, I mean, you saw how Jack Hughes reacted to his brother getting drafted there and uh, special not home for the Hurricanes. Uh, so, I, I think... And just based off of kind of everything to this point... Um, I don't know. I would be shocked if he stays long. Like, I think if he had an option to, if he had an option to go sign in New Jersey right now, he would. And like, if New Jersey could sign him, I think they would. So that contract's gonna be really interesting. I think great. Like mentally, I have it at kind of like a six six million dollar cap hit for four years, and then I have PD. I mean, if they bridge PD seven point five times three, and then like that leaves just enough room to kind of get Dickinson signed for around two times two. I don't know. I it'll be interesting, but I think um, yeah. All right, uh, heart for the Flyers. I I think um, I I think it's the other way around. Uh, Tonk. So so a break essentially what it is is that you get we open up a certain amount of boxes. It could be a full case of a product. It could be a mixer like today. And you essentially get a team per spot, depending on how it's listed. Like, so this was a team random, so there are 31 spots, you get 31 teams, and you get all hits associated. So for example, as McLeod's a hit, it goes to the Edmonton Oilers. Um, and then we just repeat that for every single pack. So every single pack, but yeah. Yeah, I think he'll be closer to three. I think 2.75 times three, but yeah, uh, that, that's pretty much what happens with a break is that you get all the hits from it, unless it's otherwise specified. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the, a break in 30 seconds. Barn for the Avs. Um, there's obviously like some little more tricky stuff with like randoms. If there's two different teams on the card, uh, other things like that, but yeah. everything gets top loaded sleeve packaged up, uh, shipped your way. So wool for the Leafs. But yeah. I, I think, um, evolving wild had Dickinson at 2.5 times two years or three mil time or 2.75 times three. And like, I feel like that. Uh, so I don't know if there's spots left still in tonight's, but Wolf for the Leafs and French variation of Hughes for the Devils. I don't know if there's spots left, but the breaks generally will get posted um, on our site. There should be a link. It's just zephyrepic.com. Um, wrong thing, but um, Essentially, you go to there. Hang on one second. Let me just pull this up. For you. Uh, you go to here. Uh, see what breaks you want to join in. Um, if you like the mix of a product or whatnot. Um, or the price point. Um, and then, like, so sometimes there'll be random teams. We haven't done a pick your team in a while. Just because it's been a little bit crazy and kind of. But, yeah. But yeah, pretty much if you see a break that you like and there's spots available, just add it to your cart and pretty much good to go. Uh, Pui Suter for Chicago. That is one of the most shocking things is that he was not qualified. He was a good player for them last year. But yeah, uh, Dragon, yeah, I, I think uh, yeah, that pooling contract is, uh, oof. They're going to be in a very uh, rough spot defensively. <laughs> Eichel for the Sabres. Like, you look at their defensive composition and all of their puck movers are on the left side. You've got Hughes, you've got Rathbone, and you've got OEL. Uh, on the right side, you've got your big, strong, physical defenseman. So you've got Myers, you've got um, Hamannick, Unger for the Stars, and you've got Pullman. Uh, no one on that right side is exceptional at moving the puck. So if you're a team, what you really want to do is you just want to pressure the, um, you just want to pressure the left side. Like, 
keep those left, like, don't let the left defenseman pass uh, Mikolo for the Blues because that's just going to be the easiest way to attack him. Oh, yeah, for sure. Demko's going to have to be lights out. Alexia for the Capitals on the blue. I, I think they did they did better than what I... Uh, like, all of their contracts that were below, like, 1.5 mil on cap hits were fine. I think they did a good job there. Stuart Skinner for the Oilers. I'm not the biggest Brandon Sutter fan, but, like, as a fourth-line center at a variable cap hit, like, sure. I'm not going to, like, complain too much about that. Like, their forwards, their forwards are great. The Canucks forwards court is really good. Leonard for the Sharks. I think Hoaglander's going to surprise a lot of people. He is... Uh, he's going to be their second best forward if he's not already. I think he, he probably was their best forward last year just because Pedersen was hurt for so long. Malay for the Capitals. So he's going to surprise. I, Garland's good. Uh, Besser's good. Miller's good. Petey's good. Horvat's solid. Hoaglander, Pluck, Holzen. Like, that's solid enough uh, to make up for a lot of other things. Ottinger for the Stars on the MVP Easter Egg insert to 250. So, their forward group is going to be good. Dickinson is the third liner, is good too. Um, their fourth line's a lot more, I think, balanced this year. I like some of their cheap signings. I like DiGiuseppe. I like Patan. Um, you know, they're going to be, their forward core is legitimately probably a top 10 forward core in the league. It's just their defense is probably like, 30, 30 it's better than the oilers i think romanov for the habs that one's really uh off centered on the foil but romanov for the habs but yeah their their defense is bad and that's that's if hughes bounces back and oel bounces back and rathbone plays at the level that he kind of did tend the season like they they might be like okay but OEL bouncing back isn't like a guarantee. You'll levy for the Canucks. I hope he does. I am a big OEL fan, but like, you know, he just, he hasn't been the same defenseman that he was when he was 25. Whether that's circumstantial in Arizona or just like, hey, he his best years were when he was younger and that's fine. Um, that happens to a lot of players. Reduke for Vegas on the marquee rookie. But you know, I hope he does bounce back. Uh, someone brought up a good point that I think it's going to be that Green won't play Myers as the defensive shift because that's what Schmidt did. Uh, Schmidt and Edler were. Uh, Subban for the Devils on the canvas and Teravainen for the Canes on the Dazzlers. So, uh, Mark, this is 157. You have the Avalanche. Uh, Makar for the abs, speaking of the abs. But yeah, like, um, you know, they're, they don't have strong enough defense to really transition super well, I think. Crawley for the Rangers, and it's a lot of, like, hoping. Because, like, if Quinn Hughes plays as good defensively as he did in his rookie year, then great. If not, then eh. Uh, you've got like a couple inserts, but nothing major. Photo shoot flashback materials of Brady Kachuk for the centers. Short print jersey card there. But yeah, nothing major in the break so far. And yeah, obviously like, again, I just, I'd love to see OEL bounce back, but I just don't see it happening until that elite level. Uh, Vadimo for the Habs. And again, like, uh, Green didn't like using Myers in the defensive shutdown role. Schmidt and Edler were that pair last year. He doesn't like using Hughes in that role. So that on the left side leaves, and he's not going to use Rathbone or Yalevi in that role, really. So that leaves OEL, and then in terms of pairings, Hamnick's going to be with Hughes, uh, and then Myers, like, he's not going to use that. So it's going to be probably OEL Pullman for your shutdown pairing, and, like, that's iffy. Uh, Belzeal for the Habs on the rookie portraits. Like, that's going to be iffy. So, it'll be interesting, though. 
I'll say that. It'll be interesting. The car for the abs. So, it won't be a dull moment. And like, hey, if a team is going to be bad, and I will always say this, I would much rather see a bad team that has, or like a team that is scoring five goals and allowing six or allowing four than a team that's, you know, bad losing one nothing two one games. Because scoring goals is fun. It's entertaining. So, all right, platinum time. I'm glad platinum is here because it is probably up to, uh, I'd say like 28, 29 degrees in the office right now. It is uh, cooking. I do have my towel. Uh, we're just gonna rip and stack OPG Platinum. For those who don't know what rip and stack is, pretty self-explanatory. You rip the cards, well the packs, not the cards. Stack them, then we'll go through the hits after. OPG Platinum's a really good product for this because it is four cards per pack and 20 packs per box, so you pretty much do half the box. Um, it flows a lot better. It's just a better way to break the product. Looking forward to next year's hockey season. Seattle's going to be interesting. I mean, Seattle's already got a good goalie tandem, so. All right, here we go. Got a red pretty early on here. Uh, Boquist for Chicago. Oh, red rookie of Kirby Dak to 199. That's a nice one for Chicago. Let's leave that up after. Uh, base, again, doesn't ship out of this, so base, base, base. Uh, Rainbow of Johansson for the Sabres. Retro of Breezeball for the Canucks. Rookie of Texier for the uh, Blue Jackets. Pink of Branchum for the Senators. That's a matte pink that's not numbered. Ferraro for the Sharks. Fox for the Rangers on the Retro. Quinn Hughes for the Canucks on the Victory Rookie. And update Rookie Auto, Sammy Niku for the Jets. There's our Rookie Auto. Uh, I mean, had more hype previous years, but Bjorn fought for the Kings on the Rookie. And Atkinson on the rainbow for the blue jackets. That was all base. Just double checking. Uh, Lafferty for the penguins. McKinnon for the abs on the retro. Rainbow rookie of Wallstrom for the Islanders. Not horrible. Well centered on that. That They had massive centering issues. Hag for Vegas. Uh, dry settle for Edmonton on the best in the world. Lazat for the Kings. To bring cat for Chicago on the sunset. So that is the first stack done. Uh, one ninety nine on the dock. So like, not the lowest numbered, but still nice. The red on red is really nice. There's like, you know how foil cards can sometimes have those weird print lines through them. It's got a couple of those. But nothing like like it's got one you'll notice it right there actually yeah um it's almost like yeah you can kind of see it right at the edge of my thumb i don't know how to it's just like it's not a crease it's just like almost a crack in the foil but it's 124 of 199 it's really nice looking card though like they foiled up platinum really well last year so That is the first stack done. Uh, typically, you get one auto per box of Platinum. I wish they did it if you got an update auto. This is one of my pet peeves of Platinum. And, like, sports card products in general is that if you're going to use, like, update stuff, um, make sure that the person, like, and advertise, like, one hit, one hit per box type of thing. Make sure that the update auto doesn't count as that because, like, you know, as much as, yeah, everyone would freak out if it's a McDavid, it's still, like, when it's not a great rookie and that's your hit for the box and it's a last year's card, it just doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth, you know? Like, yeah, you still got your hit, but like, 
you bought 2019-20 and you got 2018-19 type of thing. So, one thing I hope that like changes over the years in sports cards. You know, or like add, like make sure that there's something extra, at least it's more memorable from that box. I know it's tougher to do, but I think they got the ability to do it type of thing. So we should have a Sunset Rookie and another Matt Pink, I believe. Uh, Frederick for the Bruins, Kachuk for the Flames. Uh, Eichel on the rainbow for the Sabres. Uh, Dobson for the Islanders. And hey, another red rookie. Okay, so that's actually solid. Uh, Wallstrom to 175. You normally don't get two, two reds. Uh, Grunstrom for the Kings. Nico Sturm for the Wild. Bobrovsky for the Panthers on best in the world. That one is debatable. Uh, does that one have the same thing? No, that one does not have the same thing. Uh, Suzuki for the Habs. Rainbow of Sorella for the uh, for Chicago. Walsham for the Islanders. Lesperance for the uh, Stars. Landeskog to numbered 56 of 399 on the Violet Pixels for the Avalanche. The Brinkat for Chicago on the Rainbow. Uh, Jack Hughes for the Devils. Quinn Hughes on the Calder Front Runners for the Canucks. Uh, Prohorkin for the Kings. Sunset of Jamie Benn for the Stars. Uh, we did, did we get a Sunset rookie? Normally you get one, but I mean, hey, if we get an extra silt rainbow and an extra red, I think I'd take that over a Sunset. The reds are actually tougher to pull than a Sunset, so. The Sunsets are closer to, just based off of like rough math on the product, uh, they're closer to the 399 range. I believe it when I did the math. But overall, not a horrible box of OBG Platinum. The auto kind of stunk. Um, lots of color. Yeah, I guess we have the matte pink. I don't know if you're guaranteed the one pair, but... Yeah. Solid. Again, not the best, not the worst type of thing. Platinum goes... Alright. Artifacts time. Alright. Let's get a good box of Artie. Our last box was a auto facts special in which the box kind of stunk. That is like the one box that you typically want to avoid is one that has an auto facts. Uh, 29 and 55 on the box numbers. Start with the uh, typical insert side. Who do you think is going to be the rookie redemption here? I'm saying for the Rookie Redemption, we're going to see, calling it early. Uh, let's, go with, let's go with Colorado. Got a teal of Kachuk for the Senators. Uh, that's low enough numbered. 45 on that. A couple rarer Brady's in this bunch Carlson for the Sharks to 3.99 on the Stars Ruby Rookie coming up Copper of Carlson to 2.99 for Chicago actually those can both go that can go there the rookie can go down there And the copper looks like a goalie. Vasilevsky to 299 for the Lightning. All right, this should be the hit side. If we see a patch, we save the patch. I'm gonna say we get a rookie jersey auto though in this box. Ooh, tre treasured swashers? Oh no, uh, Lord Stanley's legacy relics of Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. Uh, I mean, nice one there. I wish they were like, with those that they'd be like actual games from that playoff run. It'd be cool if they could like prove that. But oh we hit an autofax. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, you know what? One of the best autofax on the checklist. Olafson for the Sabres. Like, legitimately speaking, probably a top ten autofax. Probably probably a top five on that checklist. Hold up, I actually I actually kind of want to see this now. 
Uh, where is... I gotta sneeze too. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies have just been brutal. Uh, is Olsen a short print? I think he might be a short print. No, he's not. He's actually one of the easier ones to get. But yeah, he's actually like one of the best auto facts in that checklist. Because you could get great players such as Greg McKay, who is harder to pull. Uh, Carl Soderberg, who is also harder to pull. I actually pulled him last time. No. All right. Who did I say again for the rookie redemption? I forget. I think I said Colorado. Ottawa. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's a little Stutzla. And last pack should be a hit. Well, I mean, for an Autofax box, we'll take it. Max selling for the Yotes on the threads of time. So, uh, the Rookie Redemption and a half decent Autofax definitely saved that box. But, yeah, not the best. But also, by far, dodgy like nightmare scenario of getting a bad auto get, getting the greg mckaig auto fax um with the boston bruins rookie redemption type of thing which is what i got in one of my one of the two boxes i opened up and the second box is beautiful second box i got is why i open up artifacts um box 25 and 55 it had a hard sign, like 180 point acetate finish, Ray Bork uh, auto to 27. And it's like, that's just, that's why you break artifact type of card right there. So, all right, trilogy time. Starting off with the hit on the left side. That's kind of weird. Uh, Evans for the Habs and Romanov for the Habs. Uh, on the level one rookie premium jersey to 499. A little bit of a Habs box or Habs pack. Maybe we'll get a bonus here then. Uh, Joseph for the Penguins. I think our hits are on the left side. And Bellows for the Islanders on the uh, Rookie Premier's Auto. $3.99. I don't know why I'm sleeving these up automatically, but I'll probably uh, not do that. Typically, again, with uh, Trilogy, the hits are in the bottom right side. But it looks like that's not the case here. Uh, Anthony Angelo for the Penguins on the uh, rookie super stage. And Kaut for the Abs to $9.99 on the Trilogy rookie. This is normally a red rookie super stage. Yep. Uh, we got Vanacek for the Capitals. Shortly a Kraken. And Byram, $9.75 and $9.99 for the Abs on the rookie super stage red. This pack is extremely thin. Like no decoy. This is a weird pack. Uh, no base card, I think actually. Uh, Mikey Anderson for the Kings. It's got a bit of a soft corner, a couple soft corners actually. Angelo for the Penguins to 9.99. And Pavelski for the Stars on the Jersey. So that is three hits. So we got an extra hit for sure. Maybe we'll get another one. I don't think we have another one, but I think we might have something cool coming up. Andre for the nope, never mind. Andre for the stars. Uh, level two rookie premieres of Soderstrom for the Oats. So, eh. Again, same thing as the past couple as the artifacts in the OG Platinum boxes. Not the best, but could do worse. Name value on that box is not great. Ice time. What team was it? I forget what team it was that, like, all players on their roster had at least 14 minutes of time on ice last year. Which is crazy, because that won't happen this year. But, all right. Uh, rookie premieres to the top. Here we go. Pack feels thicker for some reason. 
two, three, nope, king for the, or er, quick for the kings, and to 999, commando for the stars on the rookie premiers. All right, let's see, a, let's see a 249 here. Not gonna ask for a 99, but 249 would be nice. Kuchero for the lightning. And Texier for the Blue Jackets. Hey, ask and you receive. Nice one there. 249. This is normally a base jersey card. Mantha on the orange for the Red Wings. And Boquist for the Devils on the Ice Premier's jersey card. This is a bonus pack. I think we have something exquisite in it. Probably an exquisite rookie. I like the leg color. Could be good. Carter Hart for the Flyers. And there we go. Nick Suzuki to 399 on the exquisite rookies. Solid one there. And just a bonus little uh, hit. Not bad hitting an exquisite rookie of Suzuki. And looks like we have an autograph. Looks like an update ice autograph this could be heiskin and maybe uh or joseph i think are the main two uh sam goes for the lightning and oh troy terry forgot about him as well for the ducks decent one there i like his game and not not bad same thing as the other boxes like missed out on some uh better hits but for ice you know not bad out of 249 rookie, Terry on the autograph, um, Suzuki on the exquisite. But again, could be better. So, nothing really like quite stand worthy yet. There we go. Jeez. So, oh, I forgot to uh, get this side here as well. Fifty and twenty-two. Yeah, I mean, like, so on one hand, I get it, because like it takes a while to sign, and redemptions can be annoying. On the other hand, make it a bonus. Like, make that the bonus hit. That's that's literally my biggest. I think we might have a net card in here, by the way. Uh, I think that's a net card, but it could just be a patch, actually. Feels thick though. All right, I'm just gonna peek and see which way we are ending this on. All right, let's let's end on the net then. All right, rookie relic blends of Bowers for the Avs of 150, Hack and Paw for the Ducks on the rookie jersey, Larkin for the Red Wings on the material distinctions. Nylander for the Leafs to 165 on the base. Uh, Kivaranta on the rookie to 199 for the Stars. And Victor Hedman, net cord from the All Star game, numbered 5 of 35. So these are, I believe, they're 260. So I will. Um, uh, yeah, they're 260 ish. I think I. I should have picked one up. I picked up a 300 point one touch but let's see if it'll be uh i think they're 260 though so it'll probably wiggle around too much so i won't ship it in this yeah that, that'll wiggle around too much in there so um i'll have to pick up a uh a different one touch or top loader for that so but yeah that's again like that's one of my uh kind of pet I'd say pet peeves um, with putting update autos in is that they shouldn't count for like the base of the product. And there's like certain players where, yeah, I could see that being an exemption. Like, like in chronology, for example, I could see if it's like an update Gretzky auto type of thing. Like, yeah, okay. But still, especially when the set's like kind of a continuous theme, when it's like a yearly release, it's a little bit tougher. Oh, oh, we have an XRC, I think. So we have a random. 
Cheryl for the Lightning to 222. Ooh, Timeless Memories for the Leafs of uh, Rasmus Sandin on the auto. Nice one there for the Leafs. Sandin. I love these cards. These cards are beautiful, by the way. Uh, for the Carolina Hurricanes, Sylvian Turgeon. Hartford Whalers autograph again follows the franchise. And that is not a letter you see very often. Uh, Ryan Getzlaff, letter Z on the letter, Letterman, numbered 9 of 35. Uh, just a heads up, the Z area is actually pretty scratched up, and it's got a little ding, but nothing horrible. XRC3, this will be a 31 team random because we don't know who it is. So everyone's got a chance at that. That one will probably, if I had to guess, it will probably end up being Stutzlaw. But the checklist isn't posted publicly yet, so we don't know. But I would guess one is Laugh, two is Kaprizov, and three is Stutzlaw. So that is a decent card. That is a decent box of cr chronology. And hey, first time we've hit one of the XRCs, so. I knew we were due for one because, like, I've seen people get them in a few cases in a row. So, all right, I think this is normally a hit. No, oh, let's go this way. If I see something that's patchier, we'll save it to the end. But for now, we'll just keep rolling. Uh, Liam Foodie for Columbus on the rookie jersey autograph to 375. I like these. I just wish that these were, like, a different stock, but really like the cards overall. Like the design. Just because... It's not a sticker auto, and, like, it actually adds, like, just a little bit more to that. It's just the unfortunate thing is that it looks like a note card, like a recipe card, index card, whatever you want to call them. And uh, Alex True, rookie jersey gold to 99 for the Sharks. Lower number there. All right, let's see what we got here. Do we have patch? Nope, just a thin card. Got a rookie something. Uh, Robertson for the stars on the Obsidian jerseys to three ninety nine. These are beautiful cards. This is like, this is why I like. SPX so much. A, the rookie jersey set's really cool, but B, the obsidian and, like, the um, upper deck black set is just eye candy. And this is probably, like, something basic then. So I guessed wrong. Uh, McMichael for the Capitals. to 349 on the obsidian rookies. So, not the worst box, but again, like, same thing. Like, you could do worse but you also could do a lot better so we hit a couple decent names like if you hit the robertson as a jersey auto ecstatic or even mcmichael but i mean we didn't the we didn't hit a straight up base card which is positive so all right premiere time and we got the uh 31 team random to do so the xrc is pretty nice uh and the checklist is not announced um, at the time of the break, so here we go. This feels like a very thick pack of Premier. Uh, it is a very thick pack of Premier, so let's see where we're going to end on here. Uh, yeah, I think we end on... Oh, that one's tough. Okay, I think we end on the rookie patch. That's tough, but I think the rookie patch. Uh, Gensel and Murray to 99 on the premier duels. Fabro for the Predators on the rookie jersey. Pashnak on the base to one, or 299. And Lafferty for the Penguins to uh, 299. So here, we'll set this one down. Uh, for the Leafs, Premier Attractions Rookie Patch Auto of Trevor Moore. We've pulled so much of his Premier stuff. I think like all of our boxes of Premier, the last like three or four boxes, we've hit like three or four autos or patches of him. 
Uh, I think this goes this way. Just as a heads up, there is a chip on this card there. Uh, you're not really going to care about that because it's a premier mega patch to 20 of Max Domi for the Habs. Nice little chunk of the Habs logo there. So these are always collected even if the players are traded because people try and put the whole name piece together or put the whole plate together. Crest, whatever you want to call it. And there's a reason why I saved the rookie patch out of the last. It's not the biggest name, but it's a solid name. And it's a pretty disgusting patch. Look at that. For the Columbus Blue Jackets, Alexander Texier to 149. That is a sick patch. You got one, two, three, four colors with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven breaks in it. Like just disgusting patch. All right. So Premier, kind of a couple of really nice cards in there. Um, fun break. 31 team random for the XRC coming up. Um, just before we do that though, let me pull up the chronology checklist again. I checked this before the break went live, so it shouldn't have changed. Um, and again, it st stands by what I stated, but here. So just as I uh, like, just think. So this is the XRC three. Uh, as you can tell, the checklist not public, so we do have to do a random for it. Uh, let's go uh, random.org. And then grab the teams three times. And this is, this is going to be a solid card. Like, it is a solid card. So uh, three times. Once. Twice. And third time. The Philadelphia Flyers. Honestly, I think they're pretty quiet this break. So, uh, yeah, Flyers end up with that. Who have Flyers. Uh, where are we going now? Mike Fraser, there you go. So that is yours. Again, uh, that is 157. Uh, yeah, nice uh, nice mix again. Kind of top hits are the net cord, uh, the XRC, the Texier, the Domi. Uh, overall, like some nice stuff, but nothing super, super big. So, yeah. All right, on to uh, 156 up next. I believe that break's actually full too. So let me check though. 